So Football Manager has been out for a month now, and maybe you're getting a little bit bored of the layout already. Maybe you want to spice up your Football Manager. Well, you're in luck. Today, we are going to take a look at the top five Football Manager skins for FM21. So before we get into this video, just a couple of bits of housekeeping. Firstly, you can find links down below to download all of the skins featured in this video. Please do bear in mind that extra graphics such as the badges, the faces of players, the kits, anything like that, they are separate add-ons. Additionally, of course, these skins are very much works in progress. The game has not been out for very long, so you may encounter the odd issue here and there, but the five that I've picked out for this video are very much in working condition and ready for you to use in Football Manager. Before we get into this video, just a reminder, if you're one of the 50% of people on this channel who are not already subscribed and who are watching this video and you enjoy this and want to see more, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, drop a like on this video if you enjoy it, check out the rest of the top fives, and well, without further ado, let's get into this countdown. So for the fifth skin on this list, we've got Renzi's Purple FM21 skin. Uh, this is an FM21 skin that isn't going to reinvent the wheel, but as you can see here, what it really does is build upon the default style of Football Manager and just give you a little bit more. The club profile, definitely one of my favourite screens with this skin. Uh, it just looks super, super clean, doesn't it? It looks super nice. You've got the stadium pictures, you've got the previous 11. If we just click on a player profile here, you can see this has been massively overhauled as well. Um, you've got so many different kind of panels here that you can really tailor it to exactly what you want to have from your panels on your player screen, which I know for many people, you know, you have your own little taste. Obviously, it's kind of cool having the big player picture on the left. Uh, and all in all, I really, really, really like it. Um, it also comes with some really nice little extra bits that you wouldn't normally see with a skin. So, for example, if we hover over a player, you get this little extra screen here. Well, I say extra screen. Um, obviously, the, the overlay exists by default, but I really like what's been done here. And in fact, if we just go to my squad where I'm currently Norwich manager, you can see here you've got all the pros and cons down the bottom. You can really easily change the role and change what's highlighted. And it's just a super, super nice usability feature. A few other screens that see changes include the player comparison screen. So if we compare Sadio Mane with Braze Mendes here, you can see just making use of the bigger pictures. This skin does support kind of the DF11 face pack, which is kind of the taller face pack pictures that I know a lot of people are quite keen on. And uh, the final screen that really stands out for me with this skin is if we just come to team report and look at squad depth, you've got the squad depth set up horizontally, which I actually think is a really, really nice improvement versus the kind of default skin's vertical layout. I feel like it's a lot more, uh, I guess, intuitive having it this way. It works way better. And uh, yeah, for sure, this is one of my favourite aspects of the skin, the horizontal player comparison and squad depth screen, which I know might seem super kind of basic for some people, but in my opinion, it's just one of those changes which you, you can't really live without once you get used to. And uh, if you're someone who likes the default Football Manager skin, but you just want a little bit more info, you want it laid out a little bit more cleanly, you've got plenty of custom graphics you want to make use of, um, this also almost certainly is a skin worth checking out for you. So the next skin I want to showcase is Heaven Skin, created by Chrysler76. This is a really cool skin, but very de different to the default Football Manager aesthetic. I feel like if you looked at this at a glance, you might not even recognise it as Football Manager, but it's very, very cool. It's very, very different. You can see here the club profile screen, quite a radical departure. Not dissimilar information on screen to the previous skin, but in terms of how it's laid out, it's certainly... A little bit different, if we just take a look at Max Ahrens' profile here, you can see how player profiles are laid out, all this key information on the left side, the attributes at the top. A little less in the way of customization, but you still can change these panels to exactly suit what you want, and there's a whole host of options for what you might want to look at when it comes to a player. Over on the tactical screen as well, there's some big changes there. You can see here, it's just more of the same. If you mouse over a player, you get the old lemon slices. So for those of you holding nostalgia back to past football managers, the lemon and lime slices, they return with this skin uh, in terms of showing a player's best role and duty. 
And all in all, it's a cool looking skin. Very different to the default skin. I don't know if it's necessarily one that I would use personally. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of having the icons different down the left just because I play with icons only rather than, you know, having the names of everything in the sidebar. And I'm kind of just used to the default icons at this point. But certainly, if you're looking for a skin that really jazzes up your football manager, is going to make it feel like a drastically different experience. Heck, if you just hate the colour purple, I think this could be the skin to make you enjoy playing football manager again. So coming in at number three, we've got Kajuro skin, which is a beautiful skin that keeps things simple and best of all supports a whole host of resolutions and also a purple and dark version. I know for many of you guys, you love FM skins, you'll see one you really like, and if you're playing on a laptop or a lower resolution display, it just doesn't work quite as well. Most of the skins in these lists do support multiple resolutions, and of course you can find out full details of each skin over on their respective webpage, which are all linked down below. Um, but this skin goes above and beyond that. It has support for DF11, it has a dark version, it has a light version, it has support for all different screen resolutions, and that is no small feat. So massive kudos to Kajiro for putting in all that work. In terms of the skin itself, um, you can see here the club overview screen, really, really nice looking screen here. The player profiles look a lot more kind of similar to the default football manager style. So if you're kind of more into your default football manager appearance, this might be the one for you to have the Pros and cons, the attribute polygon here is all really nice. Over on the scheduling screen, if you've got stadium packs installed, you can see the stadiums that you're going to be playing at for different games on the right hand side, which again, I think is a really, really, really just awesome little thing to have. Over in matches as well, things look a little bit different with this skin. You've got obviously all kinds of different panels that you can use. The dugout still exists. The big thing though is the extended stats down the left hand side. If you're someone who's missed the old match stats panel, you want to see all the nitty gritty detail. It all exists with this skin. Your clear cut chances, your half chances, all that jazz. It's back everyone. And uh, yeah, I know this is going to be a skin that is pretty popular with people who perhaps are missing the old attributes layout. So yes, all in all, really a big fan of Kajero skin. It's super versatile, works for lots of different resolutions. That's an unbelievable amount of work that goes into it. it comes in this dark version as well as a purple version. And like all the other skins in this video, you can find it linked down below. The penultimate skin I have on this list is one that perhaps makes the least amount of changes in terms of the number of screens it touches right now, but I know it's a project that is very much in its infancy and it's known as FM Enhanced and this is beautiful. This is very, very clean, very, very simple. You can see here the club overview screen. You have your matches you've just played, you have your upcoming matches and how long until each one. Uh, you have your honours along the bottom, so if you're PSG, you've got everything except the Champions League. And it looks super, super clean. If we look at the manager profile here of Tuchel, you can see this hasn't been touched yet. But if we go now to a player screen, my oh my, it is beautiful. It's a really, really good looking skin that I know a lot of work is being put into. It looks phenomenal. This is one of those skins that right now, you know, if you're looking for sweeping changes, it isn't going to have them. But the screens that it does affect, it massively, massively upgrades. If we just take a look at the tactics screen, like many of the tactics screens featured in these skins, the player faces return, which I always think is nice. Uh, you can see here you've also got the role familiarity circles back. So if you're someone who missed them in FM21 when they got taken away, they are here. And additionally, you may notice a few changes in colour, as well as a whole host of player faces uh, down the centre of your screen. But right now, this is not a skin that drastically changes any screens. It's certainly one that I think is going to be built upon. It looks really great what's been done so far. Very excited to see it take shape in the coming weeks and months. And uh, yeah, have it on your radar. Check it out for yourself. Um, for the player profile alone, it probably is worth a download and seeing if it's one that you get on with. And finally, in at number one, we have TCS21. Now, TCS skin, full disclaimer, I know the guy who makes it. We've worked together on many skins before. If you've been watching my channel for a while, 
you'll be familiar with this style of skin. Uh, I've been using it for the past two or three years now at this point. And uh, Tom decided after a brief hiatus to come back and, well, bring something new to the table. So here it is. At TCS21, like all of these skins, they are work in progresses. Skinning takes a very long time. It's why I waited a while to actually put out this video is because there are bugs that have to be ironed out. You will notice a few little issues here and there. But my word, this skin is really, really good looking. You've got a cool little unique animated background, which I believe features in the console version of Football Manager. And each team page is kind of stylized to the team that you're at. So the blue of Everton, the white of Fulham, the uh, the white again of Leeds. Can someone have a unique color? Leicester, your blue as well. Liverpool, where, Liverpool red. Look at that. And it looks really, really clean. You've got your upcoming games on the left-hand side. The previous start in 11, all these different tabs allow you to look at different information regarding the club. Of course, you can tailor all these panels to be exactly what you would like to see. Maybe you want to have a look at all the contract expiry dates. Maybe you want to see the history of managers. Maybe you want to take a look at their transfer history. Really, really cool that you can kind of do this all from one screen. Additionally, the player profiles on this skin look really, really clean. Of course, this is a player who's not playing for us. If we go back to my humble Norwich City and uh, just have a look at, say, Max Aaron's. Again, you can see here how this is all laid out. Really, really cool stuff. You've got pros and cons as the panels at the top. The tribute polygon can be at the top right, but you can have it be whatever you want, really. And it's just got so much customization. All these different panels can be set up exactly as you wish. This middle panel as well has some really cool stuff where you can have uh, analysis stuff. So if you want to be able to compare your player against other players in the league uh, or the Premier League averages, in this case, you can do so. And uh, similarly, if you want to have the pros and cons or anything else down at the bottom, you can just set this all up. Um, yeah, I'm a very, very big fan. And it also does make some changes in game as well. It gets rid of the dugout, although you can still make it appear via a system called the feed. It adds in a few extra panels. So if you crave more information when you're playing your game, you can certainly get that with this skin. Uh, I suppose the one little downside with TCS is it is limited in terms of the resolutions it supports. But if you're running on a 1920 by 1080 screen or above, for me personally, I just think it is the best skin. It looks beautiful. It looks very unique as well. Works fantastically. And uh, like all of these skins, it's worth checking out down below. Anyway, guys, that does wrap up this countdown from me. Of course, you can find links to all the skins featured in this video down in the description, as well as all the custom graphic add-ons that I use in Football Manager. Massive thank you if you've got to the end of the video. If you're one of the three people who are still here right now, drop a like on the video. If we could hit five likes, everyone, I'm being ambitious today. That would be fantastic. Make sure to check out the rest of the top five countdown videos that are linked down in the series playlist. And until next time, it is me, Jack. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. I'm out.